Hey guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, you guys? What should I say? Hey guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up? Mommy, it's an old guy. Let me see. Let me see. And this is an eight. Again. Mmm, you smell delicious. <laughs> oh, Mommy. girl. Wow. Mommy. Yeah. When you, you say come out, click, click. When you say come out, then we come out? Yeah, not right now. Because I come out. Did I call you? No. Exactly. Out. <laughs> Today I have kimchi puchinge for you. Kimchi, of course, you know. Puchinge is puchin means stick, I think. Stick to something. Okay, I have no I have no idea. Anyway, it's a pancake. Pancake, not pancake is pan puchinge. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is my son's favorite, favorite, one up. Favorite, Would favorite. You miss your sons, J Dong Tang, follow me J Dong Tang. What's that 10K? Still. One of his favorite dish. Today, I'm sorry. Kids don't have school. You know what that means, right? Mokbang must go on. But the kids will be in and out, in and out. Some people are like, Mommy Tink, you're being very unprofessional, okay? I don't want to see any kids in. Oh, oh man, you don't think. Yo, my son got a haircut. You want to see? What is this? Oh my god. Am I really going to do that for the whole moment? Look at your face. It's so bumpy. It looks slanted, Mommy. No, no, no. You just pull on it. Oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, give it to me. Oh, look at Amber. Oh, she's so sweet. Look at this. Damn. Amber, you hold this, okay? Oh, God. You hold this for me, okay? You look like an L. You okay. boy. Your job is to hold this straight, okay? So I could see. Yo. Yo, you to me. Okay. All right. I'll go look at the back mirror. Everybody, poof. Go, go. Ah. Do the dope I say poof. You have to go. <laughs> okay. Let's go on with the recipe. Okay, so the last recipe, pine nut cold soup. Everybody saw it because it was my first video. Return, but some people did complain about the recipe. They said, "Mommy, hey, the recipe is too easy. It's really dumb." I'm sorry. My recipes are really easy and dumb. <laughs> what can I say? Stop. It only requires. <laughs> I might have to title this mukbang fail because of the children. <laughs> so today's recipe is a little dummy recipe as well, but it tastes amazing. But I like recipes like that. You know, recipes that they don't have to really do much, but it's just. Tastes amazing, like rice. You cook rice, but it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. You need a bowl. <clears throat> what do I need next? Oh yeah. <laughs> mother-in-law. Ooh, fresh package. Every time you buy mother-in-law's kimchi, it's going to be sour. That's just the way they sell it. But some Korean kimchi you buy, it's not going to be sour. For this recipe, you do need a sour kimchi. Usually the proper Koreans, they would put the kimchi in like a, a cutting board and get a knife and like cut it really nice and put it in there. <laughs> I'm really classy, remember? This is the way I do things, okay? This way you don't get yourself dirty and you also don't have to wash so many dishes. <laughs> Should I do more? Who's gonna eat this? Me! Me! Yeah. Oh, maybe more. Maybe a whole jar. Now, like I said, you know, cut it. If you can't do that, just get scissors and just chop your kimchi away. You want to small pieces. My kids haven't seen me doing mukbang in so long. They're all sitting in front of me watching me. <laughs> like they're watching a movie or something. Like, I want to be in it! I want to be in it! Okay, so once you have the kimchi all chopped up into little, little tiny pieces, what's next? We're to add flour. 
any type of all-purpose flour works. But Mommy Tang, what if I'm gluten-free? Gluten-free? Or gluten-free? Yeah. Allergic to gluten, that's what I meant. What if I'm allergic to gluten? What if I'm allergic to wheat? What do I do? I think you could use rice flour, any type of flour, really. I've never tried it, so if you do, please let me know. So some flour in there. Now add some water. Yeah, but your whole head is covering the kimchi. People don't want to see back of your head. They want to yeah, see the kimchi. <laughs> A lot of you are going to complain today. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Wait. Poof! Be gone. So you're trying to make it into a pancake batter. You know, like pancake. See? Pancake batter. That's it. That's. That's it, really. <laughs> Mommy Tang, it's not a recipe. Listen. If you gotta do something and you gotta cook it and it tastes good, it's a recipe. What are you talking about? I'm talking about nonsense here. I'll be done, Mommy Tang. Of course not. Because of protein. Now, some people don't put this here. A lot of people don't put this here, actually, but I do because I'm Mommy Tang. Go ahead, son. Well, you gotta get in. those gains. I wanna put it in. Gains. Let's see who does a better job. Jaden versus Pepita. Let's go. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> what? Another one. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, that was, that was Jada. I don't know what it was. Uh. Come on, Pepita, you show them how to do it. Remember? Another show them one. how to do it. Show them the face! In the face! Put it, 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 Everything. Everything. Okay. Now you could add here and start making pancakes if you're a healthy, you know, like I don't want any additives and you know, all. I'm all natural. You know what I mean? If you're one of those, then stop here. Now, if you don't mind a little bit of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, then you could add some mushroom seasoning. I got this at a Vietnamese market. It's called vegetarian seasoning. A little bit. They have it at Korean supermarkets as well. Um, just a little bit. It'll give you the umami flavor. What's umami? I don't know. Google umami. That's gonna give it a little more, you know, umami depth like that. Umami is a fake flavor. You know what I mean? You know that 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 taste. It's not sour, bitter, sweet, but it's those fake, artificial flavor kind of thing. It gives that little flavor in here. Okay, let's start cooking. Okay, now some oil. Now, this recipe does require a little bit of oil because if you don't put any oil and make this pancake, it's not going to taste good. You got to put a little bit of oil. If you buy this at a store, I think they put a lot of oil. It's going to be really greasy, although <gasps> greasy pancake tastes amazing. You know the drill. I always wipe with my a napkin. Oh, Mommy Tang, where did you get the fry pan? Uh, I got it at Wegmans. I think it was pizza pan, but I'm using it as a fry pan. Oh, what kind of oil? I use grapeseed oil. You can use any type of oil you like. Cool. Should I make small pancakes or large pancakes, guys? Small. Large. Alrighty. My husband always says, don't give them options, Mommy Tang. You just do you, because if you give them options, that's when they start to fight. Let's do this again. Should I go small or large? Small! No. See, no option there. I'm just going to do medium now. Now you want to look for the sizzling sound when you... I don't know. I guess it's ready. I don't, how do you test it, guys? Let's try it. 
That is not really good. Now the trick to pancakes, it has to be thin. If it's thick, it's not going to be good. Okay, thin. Oh, Kayla, can you please make a spatula? It's a good one. <laughs> Another one. I like this one. I think this is supposed to be a spatula for fish, but it's very flexible. I don't know, I like this one. Oh, look at this, look at this. Ready to flip? Oh yeah. Guys, this is so simple, but you guys are gonna love it. Seriously, guys like this. Girls like it too, but guys like it, especially like you could drink this with beer or like soju. You know, soju is like Korean vodka. It's going, but I see a blue flame. And number one rule when you make puchinge is you have to be patient. Really patient because you don't have to wait. It's all about waiting game. A little bit of oil on each side. Yeah. Ooh, let's try it. <gasps> oh, that's the best part. Oh. Mm, it's not done yet, but it's oh, good. Let me try. It's sour though. I'm gonna try. My son is like, a, he's like the, what do you call those people? The reviewers. Yeah, food reviewers. Mommy, can I when try it comes to kimchi. Can I try some? I love it. I know, hold on. How's it? Hi, you're a chef, okay? <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah. If it's two out of ten, why are you eating it? <laughs> uh, do you think we need soy sauce to dip it? No, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the side. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna make another batch. Put a bit of my oil. Spread it around. Now, if your kimchi is really spicy, you don't need to, but mother-in-law's kimchi is sour, but it's not really spicy. So if you want spicy, what do you do? Jalapeno peppers, or any pepper that's spicy, you know, just put it in there. Mm -hmm. Just chop it up into little, little tiny pieces and give it a nice, nice little flavor. I forgot to do the food porn and everything. Mm. Actually really good. I'll be drinking this with coconut water. I'll be drinking this. I'll be eating this with coconut water. Losing my mind. I told you, this recipe tastes good when you put a lot of oil, you know? But... Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, I could smell the jalapeno. I don't think it's done, but I'm gonna try it. Well, it is done because yeah, everything here is. Mm. Oh, 
Okay. It tastes so much better with jalapeno. You gotta try it, Jaden. So I'm gonna write this one. This one kind of looks like you need a little more cook. Yeah, I know it does, but. Oh, why would you cook it more? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, seriously, jalapeno, definitely. If you like spicy, definitely. Guys, tell me who's better looking, me or my mom? <laughs> Get out of here. So why is, they, they can decide who's better looking, me or my mom? I'm gonna pick the music, me or my mom. That's hard to choose. But that's very easy to choose, actually. Let's see, it only records my face. <laughs> It does. <laughs> Can I try it? Mm. <clears throat> you know, try it with them. The jalapeno is so good. And crunchy. I warned you. It's spicy. Okay? So it's spicy because I'm in the room. <laughs> ah. Can you handle it? Yeah. Can you handle it? Yeah. You're not gonna cry later, are you? I'm Drinking wine with this. <laughs> it's like I can't really focus when all my kids are here. You know, it's like my mind is like everywhere. I can't even say what I want to say. I sent them away to a different room. Hmm. Mmm, guys. Oh, it's really spicy, sour. And it's satisfying because there's a little bit of fat and flour and carbs, you know? Today's topic is going to be something very strange that I'm going to talk about. If you're young, 14 or 13, this might not be really a good topic for you. <sighs> now that you said that, I bet you're gonna watch it now, but. I'm just gonna, you know, you guys have to realize, right? That I am no psychiatrist or, you know, I'm not into the psychology stuff like that, but. The stuff that I talk about are the stuff that I just observe, you know, throughout my life. I, throughout my life? Hmm. You know, I just want to share with you guys. I could be really wrong. Like, really wrong, you know, but... Just putting my opinion out there, you know? Today I'm going to talk about... Why some relationships don't work. Yeah. And uh, it's got to do with, a lot to do with physical attraction and emotional attraction. I'm gonna talk about that. Physical versus emotional, you know? When you're little, right? Like, when you're little, like, what? When you're like nine, 10 or something like that, you know? Or even younger, eight, nine. You're physically attracted to people for your emotional needs. You know, I know some children, they go through physical attraction a little bit earlier than the others, but you usually like them because you're emotionally, you feel connected emotionally, right? Now, you get older. That's when your physical attraction kicks in. That's when you start dating. You're looking at boys, looking at girls. I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Like I'm talking to a whole bunch of girls because YouTube tells me that you guys are all the viewers are mainly all girls. So, uh, I'm 
But I get a lot of questions like this. Mommy Tang, how do I know he's the right one for me? Well, Mommy Tang, do you ever hear stuff like this too? I guess this happens when you're a little older and you're like, I don't know, I like him. I like him, he's so friendly. You know, he's good looking. You know, we are good friends, but I'm just not physically attracted to him. You hear stuff like that too, you know? Then you, you hear stuff like this too. Oh my God, I want him really bad. I want to kiss him, I want to hold him. I don't know, I think he's using me or something. I don't understand him. You know, you get that too, right? Well, let me just explain a little bit about that. Not explain, this is, like I said, what I think, you know? Not what it is, what I think. When you meet somebody, you have to be emotionally attracted to them. And on top of that, you gotta be physically attracted to them. If you have both, then you have really good relationship. You know? But some people don't regard both. They're just really attached to their physical needs. You know what I mean? They're physically attracted to each other. So they start dating, they do this a lot of physical, you know, connection things, you know? And then later they realize they emotionally they're not connecting. Not yet. <sighs> Spicy. Today, it's really hard for me. When you eat spicy food, you can't really think. On top of that, kids are here. I, you can't eat this, it's really too spicy. Really it's, spicy. It's spicy? No. When it's done, I'll call you though, okay? okay? Ooh, it's gonna burn here, but it's good. So, when you're a teenager, when you're really clueless about this, you think you're attracted to one person, or you, you think you're attracted to this guy, say guy, because you're physically attracted. But you're not really thinking about the emotional way, so that's why you get heartbroken because I kiss he was the first guy that I kissed. I loved him so much, but he did this to me. I can't believe he cheated on me. Nah, nah, nah. It goes on, you know? Have you ever heard people like this? Oh, we've been married for 30 years. I met him or I met my you know wife or husband when I was 13, 14. You know, and we've been married for this long. You're like, wow, you know? It's because they were friends first. They're into they're emotionally together for a really, really long time. And then the sexual, you know, attraction, everything came later. So emotionally they're together. That way they could conquer basically everything through. You know? What if you, you got married or you, you start dating, living together, whatever, you know? Because you guys were so sexually attracted to each other. You guys thought it was love. You guys got together. Now you guys are married and blah, blah, blah. And you guys are living opposite life. You're into, emotionally, you can't connect, you know? What happens then? There are a lot of marriages like that too, you know? I've seen a lot, I've seen a lot. What can you do, Mommy Kang? What can I do, Mommy Kang? Well. I promised my kids that one. Last one for me. A little bit of kimchi and flour and look how many pancakes I'm making you'd be really satisfied with this meal you're gonna love it my mukbang is way too long today I'm sorry some more jalapeno peppers all oh, this now I hear some people say Oh, he's so cold to me, or she's so cold to me. I, I think the way we are born or made, me, male and female, right? 
females are more um, more developed or females are more emotionally attached to your, your I think your spouse or whatever men however they're more physical I think you know but not all cases not all cases but um, it's usually like that so sometimes when you're married for a really really long time or if you are dating for a really long time can't even explain this it's like all over my mind it's like all it's like scattered all over but i just want to express this to you because i don't know i was thinking about this the other day and i said i think this is so interesting for people to kind of know that but you really have to know if you are physical or if you are an emotional being first you got to find that out you really have to sit there and really think am i more emotional person or am i more physical we like you know whatever and everybody and then you find the answer believe it or not you find that the answer is within that because some girls are just more physical than the other and some guys are more emotional than the other you know so it, it works opposite ways but i mean i'm not saying it's you know all girls are more emotional all guys are all sexual no it's not like that but some girls can't they like the physical touches like you know, like they need for their husbands or their boyfriends to always touch them, always kiss them, always telling them I love you by doing physical stuff. Some people don't need that. Some girls don't need that. They just want their husbands to tell them, I love you. You're good to me. I love you. You mean everything to me. They rather have that than have a kiss. So that could kind of tell you if you're, if you like the physical, if you, if you need the physical attention or emotional attention you know from your spouse you know what i'm saying and this is funny thing is because when you meet somebody if you are both physical and you guys met together you guys need to work on the emotional this is very possible to do so you just have to be very physical all the time to each other be always be physical now if you're married to an opposite you know they say opposites attract Let's say you're a very, very physical person, okay? You need to be touch, feel you know, all the time. Your husband is more emotional. He wants to talk to you all the time. He wants to, you know, I love you and this and this and that, you know? And if you're not giving each other what you need, then you're gonna start looking elsewhere in the relationship, you know? So the physical person is most likely gonna go look and cheat on you or something like that of a kind. You know what I mean? They're gonna start looking, maybe look at some porn sites or something like that. You know what I mean? Something that will fill their physical need. If you're an emotional person and if you're lacking in that in your relationship, then you're gonna get very depressed. You're gonna get very angry. You're gonna be very like ups and downs, ups and downs. On top of that, you are uh, most likely, if people like this, if a person needs a physical attention and if they cheat on their boyfriends or spouse or something like that, they're gonna do this without getting their emotional involved so much. Whereas emotional person, when they cheat on their spouse or their boyfriend or something, they're going to cheat on you emotionally. So if you're on an opposite end from each other, it could really hurt each other because the other person don't understand the other person's action. You know what I mean? Does that even make sense what I'm saying? If you know what I'm talking about, think about it. Think why you met your husband or your boyfriend first. Why did you, when you guys first got together, what was it that you got really attracted to this person? Was it because you were close with him first, like best friends and then you, whatever? Or was it because you're just like, oh, physically like, oh, I want it, I want You know what I mean? You first have to know that. And if somebody is physical, if let's say your husband is a very physical person, then you have to work to give him what he needs, what he, where he lacks, you know? But for you, it's, I know it's hard for you because let's say you're an emotional person, you're like, I can't be physical with him unless he gives me emotional needs. And it's the other way around for the other person. The other person would be like, unless you're physical with me, I can't give you the emotional needs. That's when marriage or, um, you know, or relationships have problems because you, you're not willing to give the other person what they need without getting something back. You know what I mean? 
But I really think if you know this, if you know this, some of you that are watching, and you, if you agree with me on this, you know, sometimes you have to give first in order to receive. My opinion, you know, when you start giving, that person is going to give it back to you and you start receiving slowly, slowly. It takes patience, just like this pancake over here. You know, if you, if your husband or wife, like I said, talk to a girl, if your husband or your wife needs physical attention, then you just, all you have to do, it's easy. You just have to back hug, you know, when they're doing the dishes or something, just go up to them, hug them from behind, you know, crush your hair, you know, stuff like that. Just when they're sleeping, you know, just, I love you. Stuff like that. That's what they need. If you give them that in return, they'll be nice to you. They'll give you what you need. I, 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 I know this for a fact. You know? It's because it works like that with children too. My I have four kids, they're all different. Some of them need more physical. I love you. You know? Some people, some of my kids don't need that. They just need, uh, you know, I don't have to be so physical with them, but I need to constantly tell them I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. You know? And if you think your husband or your girlfriend needs more emotional things, then pay attention to what pay attention to what they're saying. You know? Be nice to them. Say nice things. Compliment them. You know? Oh, you look nice today. Oh, this food you've made for me is wonderful today. And if you keep on doing that, they'll come and give you the physical needs. You compliment them and say, oh, yeah, you know, you, you, oh, your pancake was delicious today, honey. I mean, wow, you know, this, this was amazing, you know? They'll give you a couple kisses later for that. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't make sense to you. Like I said, I'm no doctor. I'm not no psychologist or anything like that. This, that's what I think, you know? Because we're human beings, we need two things. I mean, we need a lot more things, of course, but you know, when it comes to relationship, it's basically physical needs and emotional needs we need. And you just really need to know that. Like, what do I need, you know? I don't know. When two physical person, the two, that, this is why sometimes when you go to the, the mall or something and you see two young couple, they just met and they don't even care who's there, they're like kissing. <laughs> You know, because they're so into each other physically. That's this is why they don't care like mentally. You know, and if two usually I, I notice that when two people they love each other um, and they started off as emotional thing, they last longer. They do. They last longer. Mm -hmm. so especially if you're a teen, you're trying to date or something like that. Just because you're physically attracted to somebody, don't you know? Don't give yourself like that. You really have to think what is going on because you're gonna get hurt if you just go for the physical need. Am I making sense today? I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> I think I'm like crazy in the head, you know what I mean? Stuff like this, I think about stuff like this all the time. Like sometimes I drink tea, I look at the window, I'm just like, hmm, I wonder. You know? You know, as a mother, <coughs> as a mom, there are a lot of topics that I want to talk about. I can talk about dating. I can talk about marriage. I can talk about. I can talk about. You know, raising kids. I can talk about. You know, with. You know, with your as being a daughter. You know, there's so many topics in life that you can talk about, and um, I would love a feedback from you guys to see what you. you know, you guys tell, tell me what you want to talk about. I don't know. In the day to day, it always changes. And I'm like, today I just wanted to talk about that because I was thinking about that yesterday. I was like, maybe a lot of people don't know what they need. If they know what they need, maybe a lot of problems will be solved. I can't give you every single step, like answer what to do, of course. <laughs> you know, I'm not a counselor. But, you think about that today. Okay, you think about what I said today. Mm, get some more oil in there. I didn't even do the food porn or anything. Today is like almost like a disaster. It was like a disaster. Like the topic was off, the food. Oh. 
I'll see you guys later, okay? Seriously, let me know. Was this topic interesting today for you guys? Like, do you should I talk about stuff like this sometimes? What do you think, guys? I don't know. No? You guys let me know what you guys want to talk about with me. Remember! It's not about you. Relationship, it's really about them, you know? First find out what they need. Well, first find out what you need, you know what I mean? First find out what they need. If they need more physical attention, then be more, you know? If there's more emotional things they need. I love you. You're everything to me. That's it. But what about me, Mommy Tan? What about me? What about my needs? Like I said, when you give, it'll come back to you. And you're, and it'll be fulfilled. Whatever you need will be fulfilled. They'll fulfill it for you because you can't fulfill that for yourself. How are you going to physically satisfy yourself? <laughs> Never mind. I'll see you later. That was a bad example. Ah. Uh, mommy Tang, I don't really care about physicalness or emotional and whatever. I don't really care about that. All I care about is your food. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I capped it. Yes! Yes! See? Oh! Follow me at JLT. Finally! Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Mmm.